Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Gravitation. Very important 5 mark question. I am going to consider two object. Object A, object B. Object A has a mass M1, object B has a mass M2. I am considering the distance between the two masses as R. According to the gravitation, every particle of the matter in this universe attract each other particle. We know all the object attracts each other in this universe. We have come across Apple topic, right? Isaac Newton, he derived gravitational law. He found that the apple is falling from a tree and he has concluded that is because of gravity. So from there we have come to the conclusion every object in this universe attracts each other because of the force. Force is nothing the gravity over there and it does not depends on the medium where they are placed. Okay first Force is directly proportional. In this gravitation statement, force is directly proportional to product of masses. How many masses we have considered here? We have considered two masses. Ball A masses M1 and ball B masses M2. So product is nothing but the multiplication. Force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. And force is inversely in the sense to the numerator inversely proportional to the square of the distance. What is the distance we have considered here r? So square of the distance. What is the distance r between them? Okay. So the, the statement says that force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. How many masses we have considered here? Two masses. So product m1 into m2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. What is the distance between them is r. So I have written as r square. I am considering this equation as equation number 1. I am going to combine both the equation. Left hand side force is equal. So I am writing force and I am taking the proportionality symbol. Here in the numerator m1 m2. In here the numerator is 1. If you multiple m1 m2 into 1 what we will get? Same value right m1 into m2 divided by r square into 1 which is nothing but r square. I am taking this as a third equation. Already we have discussed to remove the proportionality symbol. What what we have to do? We have to insert is equal to one constant, right? So, F to remove this proportionality, I am writing is equal to, I am taking capital G as a constant. See, what topic we are discussing now? We are discussing gravitation topic. So, I am taking capital G as a constant, where G is the universal gravitational constant. G will have a constant value 6.674 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. This is the default constant value of universal gravitational constant. We are under the topic gravitation. So, I am concluding by writing the formula for the gravitation. I am going to fix G as if left hand side we have F. I am going to cross multiple R square to the F and I am going to bring this M1, M2 to the numerator. So G is equal to F R square divided by M1 into M2 and I have written the unit as Newton meter square per kg square right. I will tell you how I have written. What is the unit for the force? Newton. So, unit for the force, I have written Newton. R, radius is measured by using meter. R square. So, meter square. 
divided by how many masses are there two masses masses usually measured by using the unit kilogram how many masses are there two masses so kilogram square so you don't want to memorize how to write the units here newton meter square per kg square this is gravitation so we have concluded g is equal to f r square divided by m1 into m2 acceleration due to gravity from the topic we got an answer the object is accelerated because of the gravity okay i'm going to give you an example i'm going to throw a ball okay the ball from here when i'm throwing it reaches to the certain height after reaching to the certain height because of the gravity towards the earth the ball falls down when the ball is coming down the velocity of the ball changes velocity is nothing but the speed velocity is nothing but what speed the speed of the ball will change why because the force is acting on an object because the velocity of the ball changes because of the force that is acting on a ball the ball it is accelerated towards the earth due to gravity that is why it is said to be acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity is denoted by the letter g the mean value of acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square meter per second square is the unit for acceleration due to gravity we know the formula for acceleration due to gravity which is nothing but change in velocity divided by time right change in velocity divided by time the unit of velocity is meter per second the unit of the time is second so meter per second into it will be going to the numerator right 1 divided by s m into 1 m s into s s square that is why i have written the unit for acceleration is meter per second square relationship between small g and capital g small g is we know acceleration due to gravity and capital g is universal gravitational constant to discuss about this topic i am going to consider this as a earth i am going to consider the mass of the earth as capital m and it has a radius i am going to consider the radius of the earth as capital r now we are going to consider the object is placed on the surface of the earth mass of this object i am going to consider as a small m when a body is at rest on the surface of the earth it is acted upon by the gravitational force f is equal to m into g why because acceleration of the body is under the action of gravity hence instead of a i am writing g we know f is equal to m into a as it is under the action of gravity instead of a i am writing f is equal to m into g we have already discussed f is equal to g in the sense universal gravitational constant mass of the first object mass of the second object divided by square of the distance between them in the last topic yes here the same formula i writing f capital g instead of the m1 what is the mass of the earth i am taking i am taking mass of the earth as capital m what is the mass of the object i am considering small m so instead of m2 what is the mass of the object here small m divided by radius of the earth is what r square so instead of small r square i am writing capital r square 
what is acting here f is equal to m into g i am taking this equation as equation number 1 and the second equation as equation number 2 i am going to combine both the equation so left hand side are equal so right hand side also has to be equal so right hand side what is there g capital m small m divided by r square is equal to m into g small m small m will get cancelled what is left over small g is equal to capital g capital m divided by r square this is the relation between small g and capital g